I really appreciate you joining me today. It's been a long week and we've got through a lot of news. Don't forget to check out the website for all the latest stories and there's more news being uploaded over the weekend. I first covered the story of Abdi Mohammed's murder in Wolverhampton two years ago in 2021. He was stabbed to death outside his workplace on the 8th of June and his family described him as a beautiful personality and a kind person. I remember at the time that this story was very shocking but several months ago I was approached by a friend of Abdi and he explained to me that Abdi was a very big fan of the channel and he recommended it to all his friends and explained certain stories that he was fond of and the journalism that I tried to do and this of course meant a lot and in his death I wasn't sadly able to meet him in life but in death I hope to try to raise awareness for his family after they've highlighted several issues to do with the case. The man that was arrested was Moses Smith and he inflicted a brutal attack where he stabbed him several times on CCTV outside the place that he worked. The reason that he stabbed him was a dispute over an insurance claim. Moses said that his van had been scratched and he wanted to claim insurance and easy for insurance where Abdi worked was the place that was where he had to go to sort that out. Abdi was literally just trying to help him and do what he was meant to do. He was doing his job, nothing else. But Moses Smith had what the defence described as a breakdown and a momentary loss of sanity. And he stabbed Abdi several times in the neck. And Smith, who had previously had little contact with Abdi, turned himself into police two hours later. He was charged with murder initially, but he pled guilty to the lesser charge of manslaughter because of diminished responsibility. Wolverhampton Crown Court heard that the Crown Prosecution Service accepted the plea. So the Crown Prosecution Service are the people that determine whether they're going to get a conviction. They are the ones that present, the police will present the evidence to them and they present it to the court and also try to work out if they believe that they will get a conviction. And in this case, they didn't believe that the case was strong enough to get a murder conviction, so they opted for the manslaughter. This, of course, upset the family of Abdi, and they said that the defence's claims of mental illness were not very good, and I haven't seen the evidence. I'm sure that the family were very aware of what they had to look up for to be able to determine if this mental defence was credible. The family said in a statement that they were very unhappy with the outcome and believed the attack was racially motivated and they have launched a Justice for Abdi campaign as a result. I would leave the link to this campaign and I will also leave the link to the GoFundMe if it is still going. They said in a statement that Abdi always had a smile on his face and he was a good person and he'd do anything for anybody. The family want to make it clear that they do not agree with the decision and they do not accept the plea of manslaughter. They said they argue about the defence and they said that he was suffering a depressive episode at the time of the attack but the family said this was not compelling evidence. A spokesman for his company said that Mohammed had worked for them for two years and they sent their thoughts and condolences to his family. Abdi was employed by the Bromage Insurance and he was a personal insurance advisor and he was literally just doing the best that he could for his job and this is where I think the main point of this story is is that is it right that somebody can get murdered while they're just doing their job and somebody can get away with not murder but manslaughter of course we can't dismiss Moses claims of mental illness and at the same time we need to see more evidence as well. but if mental illness is such a big priority then the governments need to start treating mental Ill illness patients as a priority and if somebody is suffering in this way then they need to be getting the help as quickly as they would if they were injured in hospital but as we see from the waiting times in hospital that isn't even always the case there the police said in a statement that no words can describe how the family must be feeling at this time. The case was a very difficult one and also Smith's mental illness contributed to the outcome. So as I said at the beginning of the video, this story I covered several years ago. Some people may have forgotten about it, but I just want everybody to know that no story is ever forgotten on Scar City and everybody's story means the same. Everybody's equal. Everybody gets to have their story told. And if there's something wrong with a case, then of course we're going to talk about it. So really appreciate you joining me today and I'd really appreciate it if you paid respects to Abdi in the comments and of course go and support his family to try to get answers for what happened.